Hi everybody, it's Joni Young here. Welcome back to my channel for another painting tutorial in acrylics. Today I'm going to be showing you some more uh, figure paintings, very simple, easy, basic steps so that all of you can follow along and learn how to add these into your paintings. So I'm going to be working on a 10 by 20 canvas today, but you can paint yours on any size canvas you want. You can also use any colors you want. For this specific demonstration and tutorial, I'm using the following titanium white, yellow ochre, burnt sienna, Mars Black, Cobalt Blue, Quinacridone Crimson, and Sap Green. I have two brushes I'll be using, a number four Filbert brush and a number three round brush. I'm going to use the round brush for smaller details and lines, the Filbert brush for the basic shapes and silhouettes. So if you guys are ready and excited to learn how to paint some figures today, hit subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using my filbert brush. I've got a little cup of water here to show you how much water I'm using. And we're just gonna break it down into simple shapes and colors today. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to my brush. And then the first color I'm gonna take is a little bit of black. So I'm just gonna add black first, a little bit on the end of my brush. So you don't need too much paint. Biggest mistake new painters make is overloading their brush. And so we're just going to start with lines like this. Just make a simple peak like that or the starting of a triangle, but it's not going to complete right down here. So then we're going to start to make them a little thicker. This is where I'm going to take a little bit more water. And the thigh is bigger than the knee. So we'll just add a little bump there and then the calf down to the ankle gets narrower. Let's take a little bit more paint now. Go over that. And then we're going to work on this one. So this one's going to start to bend. We've got the knee right in there. By the knee. And then we're going to pull it back just a little bit for that calf. Just pop that out a little bit. Bring this in around the bottom area. I'll make this start to come up straighter. And then we're just going to pull a line, a little line to connect them right like that. Now, if they've got baggy pants on, then you might want to make it a little bit wider for the, the bottom of the, the leg of the pants. And then we're just going to add on an angle because they're taking a step, just use the end of your filbert brush, gently pull, come down, and then make it a little bit wider. Use the end of your brush, make it narrower. And then this one, is going to come up like this. So we're going to start the toe of the shoe and then curl up. Make it a little bit thicker, bring it out the sole and then down and back. And now we're going to add the coat. That's going to be wider. We're going to make that a little wider. We'll make the legs a little wider and the coat come right down here. Let me catch that drip. <laughs> and you just create a rectangle and then round it up here along the chest. Then we're going to add the arm bent so it looks like they've got their hand in their pocket. Now you can make, depending on how skinny or thick you want your figure to be, that's up to you. So you can, this is just basic shapes here, but you can make them a little wider and bigger. So with this knee and this leg here, we're going to bring that in the front 
by doing this and then coming down. Just going over it slightly. And we can just take a little bit of kind of watered down black and add a little shadow. A little shadow there at the base. You want to start your shadow where the toe of the shoe comes down and touches the ground and the heel of this one. Okay, now we can go on and paint the rest. So they've got their arm bent like this, hand in the pocket, and then maybe a little collar that sticks out. So you just add a little peak like that or a little arrow, paint that in, and then add a little line that gently comes up like this. And then we're just gonna add a circle right here, bring it up a little higher. Now wherever the nose is, you want to go and add about half an inch up from that and then add where the nose is, just stick it out, add it, pop it out a little bit. And then a few little dabs for the mouth and the chin. And then we'll pull on a slant and pull this in, the neck area in. Then we could add a little bit of hair just by gently flicking with the ends of the brush. A little bit like that. Okay, and they've got a basic figure walking. Again, just go back and make it a little bigger, wider, wherever you want, depending on who you're painting. So we're just going to, I'm gonna demonstrate them in black silhouette first, and then we're gonna come in after it dries and I'll show you how to add color to them. And now I'll take a little bit of black again. Again, not too much paint. And we'll add the legs here. I'm gonna paint a lady now. Her thigh, knee. So we're gonna just pop it out a little bit and then bring it back in. And then her calf goes, the calf goes out that way. And then just bring it down. into a point, then flat for her shoe. Just twist over with the end of the fil filbert brush. And add the heel that pops out just a little bit. Then we can add a shadow at the base. I'll take a little bit of water again. Thin that paint out. Okay, then we're going to add a, just a little scoop here for her dress and then start her next leg. Make this a little bit thicker here. And her knee's going to be right here. Okay, so a little line there. The knee, bring it down. Up her the heel out right there just twist and turn over on a slant and then flat again
Okay, now we'll add her dress or skirt. We're gonna start about an inch up from the legs. We're gonna add a little line right here. And we're just gonna pull across. And paint it in. And bring that material, her skirt or dress, over the legs here in the front a little bit more. And then we're going to go and bring it up. Keep a little bit of a slant right here, and then we'll add a little bit of a roundness here, and then bring out her chest breast area. So to a point in and then a little bit roundish there. And then we'll add an elbow that comes down here, her arm. And we'll paint this in. And then I'm going to give her a little purse to wear. I'm going to just add a little oval here on a slant. Just a simple little oval. You can make your square if you want or rectangle. I'll just set that aside for a moment and we'll take our round brush. So it's easier to make finer lines with a round brush or a liner brush. And we'll add two lines that come down so it looks like she's carrying a purse and then I'm just going to continue using this brush for now we'll add her head we'll add half a circle right here bring some bangs out pull it in for her eye area and her then her nose little chin, just a few little bumps there, and then just paint it in. I'm going to add some hair. I'm going to take a little bit of water on my brush, thin the black out, and again we'll go over the top of the head there, and we'll make her hair kind of flowing. I'll paint this in, silhouette. You can use the filbert brush for painting hair the same way, just gentle little pulls, wiggles, depending on um, what type of hair you're painting. If it's curly or straight or wavy, maybe it's kind of flicking up a little bit here and there. Maybe she's got her hand and her phone over here on this side and she's on her phone, so we'll just add a little, little rectangle or square here coming out from her jaw and chin area. And then we'll add her wrist here. And this, of course, is just on the other side. And then her elbow. Bring it down a little lower, a little pointy, and back in. I'm going to make her calf come out a little bit more here. Let's go into our black again. 
Okay, just a, a little bit of paint on there goes a long way. And we're going to start right about here, the waist area. Start with the waistline for a line just to go by for the legs. And we're going to add that sort of line that we started with the, the peak. A little bit more water on my brush. And we'll have this person wearing wide pants. We'll round out, they're facing this way. We'll round out their bottom and give them some wider pant, pant legs. Okay, and then we'll widen it this way. This leg here is in the front. And then on an angle, because that's how we want to make her, her foot up in the air a little bit, mid-step. I'm going to add a little bit more black here. And then we're going to work on the waist. We'll do the feet or shoes in a moment. We're going to gently round out the waist. Bring the back scoop and slant over slightly. Maybe add just a little bump for the chest area. And then shoulders. Bring that up, paint it in. Okay, her shoulder, elbow would be right about there. And then we'll give her kind of a flouncy cuff and then we'll have her holding a bag and let's just make this one more of a rectangle so you can do this with your round brush it's whatever you feel comfortable with or using the filbert. Okay, and then we're gonna have her other arm come up here because she's gonna be holding her hat. So right about here is the, will be the elbow. We're gonna stop there on an angle. And then we're gonna have her wrist area he, here get narrower. Add a little curve like that where she's gonna be holding her hat. just a little bit more water to my brush. Gently pull on a slant this way. Then we're going to pull straight up here. We'll paint that in. Bring it up a little higher here, but keep this slant. And then we're going to add the top of the hat rounded. little round part to the hat and then another one that comes out just to the shoulder. I'm going to pop this up just a little higher right there. And then I'm going to give her a little bit of hair too, because I think that will be kind of pretty. 
and show you how to do it with the filbert brush here. Add a little curve and scoop and flick. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to the brown brush so we can paint her shoes. A little water, a little bit of black. And we're just going to start inside about the middle of the pant leg. Gently scoop a little bit and then come down. Scoop, almost like an S shape right here. Then bring it up a little bit. And then up again. So S and then scoop in and then up. On a slant and scoop. Okay, and then this one, we're gonna start back a little farther, heel, so just scoop out, pop that out, half circle. And then on a little slight angle, and then pull it back over. This kind of looks more like she's barefoot and you can change it by adding a little heel like we did here and a little scoop or just adding a wedge heel a little bit of watered down transparent black I think I've got room for one more here. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to my brush again, some more black. We're going to start with the top this time. We'll add a roundness there. So half a circle there. Then bring it out, down. I bring the height of this up a little bit more. And then straight down here on an angle, bring it out, a line here, a little collar sticking out, bring the shoulder out a little bit more. Then we're going to pull in this one. We're going to bring down on an angle and grab a little bit more black here. Tap in a little bit of hair. Just turning my brush on the side to use the end like this. A straight shoulder on an angle, bring the elbow out here and then A little bit narrower there. Then we're going to leave a little triangle in the middle there. A little bit of water again. I don't want my paint dripping. I just want to add a bit of water so my paint stays nice and wet and a little bit more fluid. OK, 
Okay, and then we're going to come out here a little bit. Pull it in like this. So you've got a, let's look at it into shape as it would be as a shape. Rectangle here, wider here, turn, narrow. We've got a little triangle in there. And we're going to paint this in. And then we're going to pull over. Make the pant leg wider right here. Then we're going to pull this way. Point for the end of the shoe, the front of the shoe, scoop up. So this leg is coming in the front. We'll add the bottom of the pants. I'm going to give him a little bit more of a heel here on his back shoe there. And then pull across a little bit of a heel there. Now I'm going to bring his coat down. I'm going to take my round brush, a little bit of black. We'll add indication of some glasses here that he's wearing. Add a little collar back there again. Just bring it out into a little point and a point there. Gonna soften these shadows a little bit down here. Okay, so I'm gonna use my filbert brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of blue, a little bit of white, and a little bit of sap green. And I'll just add this here over the pants. So you can just have like a simple jean or pant and then just add a little bit 
of white. To lighten it. And then I'll take a little bit of extra white in there. Maybe a little bit of burnt sienna. And give them sort of a tan colored coat. Try to not make it solid everywhere so that you are left with some shadows. And I'm gonna take a little bit of yellow ochre, burnt sienna, and just sort of graze over the side of the face here. And then a little bit of black, burnt sienna. You could leave the hair dark or you could add a little bit of brown to it or blonde if you wanted. We have a little bit more yellow ochre. I'm not trying to paint the features. We're just adding little suggestions of colors for skin here. Okay, so let's add um, some red maybe for her dress, a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow ochre. Maybe we can tone it a bit and start with her cuff here. Just keep it simple and then a little bit of a white and yellow ochre in there along with the red. You can use any red you want. And let's uh, add some yellow ochre burnt sienna to her hair. Start at the top here, pull and sweep over. Then add a little bit of white. To create that movement, just kind of sweep. Of burnt sienna in there. Had a hint of color. Keep it darker right under the dress or the skirt. And then bring it down just a little bit for the top. On the top of the shoes. And then add just a little bit more of the yellow ochre. Okay, let's go over here and let's add some green, a little bit of white. So 
So black or gray scale is a really great base coat. I'm leave a little darker in between her arm there and her waist. Bring it out here so it's going to be a little brighter right here and then more in shadow there. I think I want to keep her pants black though. I'm just going to go over with extra black. my brush out periodically here just to make sure it's nice and clean those paint colors aren't building up on my brush okay let's just add a little bit of white and yellow ochre to her her hand grabbing her hat there And then we can take some burnt sienna and we'll have her hair coming down over her shoulder. And let's give her a brown, brown leather bag here. So a little bit of burnt sienna again. And just a little bit here. On the handles and then a little dab of yellow ochre for her hand there. And we could add this to her feet as well. I don't think she's wearing shoes. It's kind of something interesting to add if you were wanting to paint a figure like walking on a path or a field and like just a more natural setting. So I hope you guys are learning lots today about figure painting and how you don't have to have all the details of their limbs, fingers, toes, um, and their faces to be able to paint them and add them. And this is just like for beginners, right? Maybe you want to add a little bit of extra white to the green here. Maybe you want to add all those details in some of your paintings and you definitely can, but this tutorial is just meant to be for um, beginners. Okay, let's work on um, this guy over here. So I'm going to give him, let's make some purple. We'll mix it up over here, a little bit of white, crimson, and the blue. We'll make more of a purple jacket. And then I'm going to come down in the front with a little bit of white. Take a little bit of burnt sienna, yellow ochre, and white. So this is the front, but he's turning his head to look at something. Maybe that girl. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit of black to my purple. 
here we have the lighter shade and here's the darker shade. Take a little bit more black, bring his head up a little bit higher here. We could give him maybe some khaki colored pants. We'll take some green, yellow ochre, and some white. Make sure I don't have too, too much paint on my brush. Just mix it up and then have the excess out of the brush. And we're going to just leave it a little darker in between the jacket. And then we'll add a little triangle bit right here for the leg that's behind. Add some more black with my purple, make it darker under the base of the coat, a little bit of a shadow. I'll just use this for some more shadows down here as well. dark purple color. Down the center of the coat. And a little bit of burnt sienna and black right in here. Make that a bit darker. Okay, let's take our round brush, pick up some black and a little bit of water on there. And just define her heels a little bit more so they aren't see-through. Add those last little details, shadows, and highlights. And maybe a last little highlight here on the jacket. Once it had, it's had time to dry, it fades quite a bit. I'll just add a little bit more there. Okay, I'm going to add a hat to this man over here. It already looks like he's got a hat on, so I'm going to just go with that and just shape it a little bit better. 
So round like ball cap. Get a little bit of what I've got left here. I can make a nice dark color with that crimson. A little bit of blue and black. We'll just flip it up like that. His ears about right there. Jawline. Shadow. Looks like he's got a bit of a beard. So if you wanted to add a beard, you can just stipple on whatever color that of that beard you want, want it to be. I'm going to add a little more to his pans, burnt sienna and that purple color. A little bit of water. And I want to just kind of shadow this in here. showing you guys how to add figures, simple figures like this to your paintings. Let me know if you guys are enjoying these. I'm going to bring his coat down a little lower here. Define the shadow areas. Black right there. Probably got his hand in his pocket right there, so we'll just add a little scoop. Outline the collar. Shadow out this back leg. You'll see it just doesn't take very much to add a little bit more here and there and, and totally change the look of your figures. Just subtle little shadows, a little bit extra black. And you guys can feel free to add any colors that you want. These are just what I chose today. If you want to make it look like her fabrics, a little bit ruffled, and just add a few, or just even like for shadows, bolts, just add some lighter areas, which we have, and then we just add a little bit of black. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it like this. Hopefully got a good idea of how you can start painting some walking figures. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. I'll see you all soon in my next video. Take care everybody. Bye!